In this playlist, I am going to be working through OCRB or OCRMEI's modeling with algorithms option, which is an option for both AS further maths and A level further maths. Now, for AS further maths, the code is Y413, and for A level further maths, it is Y433. So it is one of the applied options for AS further, and it is one of the minor options for A level further. Now, the good news is that there is no difference between the content of these two courses, essentially. Uh, so the AS further and A level further, they cover exactly the same content. So there's not going to be any kind of problem with you thinking, oh, is this just on A level modeling with algorithms or is it just on AS? OK, there's none of that. Everything that is in this playlist is on both. OK, um, now you might be coming at this um, from another exam board, uh, either Excel, AQA or even OCRA uh, and thinking, right, is there anything here for me? Now, um, the thing with the applied units at, in further maths is that in some cases they can be quite different um, and they can be quite different takes on similar material. Now, the Modeling with Algorithms module or unit or uh, option, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, um, is essentially MEI's decision or discrete maths module. And there will be a lot of overlap with uh, Edexcel, AQA, OCRA's decision unit for further maths. Um, so it's likely that we'll be covering similar amounts of graph theory, uh, tracing an algorithm, um, Dijkstra's algorithm, I expect you'll see in both. Um, but the issue is that they're not, um, they don't completely align. And you're going to have to be very picky with what you use here. There are a couple of added uh, and hidden issues as well. Um, that you do need to consider. Some of the exam boards uh, do the algorithms in different ways, either in uh, a different way of displaying the algorithm. And for example, I've seen uh, a couple of different ways of displaying Dijkstra's algorithm. Um, whereas uh, critical path analysis um, can either be done as activity on arc or activity on node. And for this module, unit, option, we do activity on arc, whereas another exam board might do activity on node. And consequently, you're going to look at all these videos and go, that's completely different to how I'm taught to do it. OK, and it won't be of any use to you. So take it certainly with a pinch of salt. There will be overlap, but it will not match up precisely with what you're doing, okay, if you're not doing OCR MEI. So the playlist comes with a forewarning. Um, on top of that, just to kind of like make it clear also, um, this is the only current specification decision unit, module, option that I really know about. And, and know through and through. I haven't really looked at the other exam boards versions of this um, in any kind of great detail. So uh, if you ask me questions about those, um, and it's not specifically on one of the topics that we cover in this playlist, then I probably won't be able to help you, okay? But uh, you can always try me out. Um, I have taught AQA um, decision before in the old specification, so I might be able to help, okay? But uh, just be aware that there are limits uh, to my knowledge. This is where some of those barriers might start uh, appearing, okay? Right, let's crack on. Modeling with algorithms, here we go.